This is Health Matters with CIPLA. Crowdfunding might seem like a modern concept as it's primarily done through the internet and social media. But it's actually, by the way, a concept that dates all the way back to the 1700s. Now, these days, it's one of the most common ways that people can receive the help for unaffordable medical emergencies. Catherine Duploy is an entrepreneur, social enterprise enthusiast and crowdfunding expert who's currently working as director and CEO of South Africa's most successful crowdfunding platform, Backer Buddy, which is a donation-based crowdfunding platform that allows people to raise funds for causes that they're passionate about. Catherine, welcome to Health Matters. Oh, great to be here, Ryan. Thank you so much for, for including me. This is so cool. It's so cool to have you with us because a lot of people, believe not, still don't know how crowdfunding really works and how Backer Buddy works. Um, can anyone crowdfund, you know, uh, urgent surgery? Uh, I need my kids to go on, a, on an important trip. Uh, can, can they turn to Backer Buddy? Right. Absolutely anyone can crowdfund for something that they are passionate about. So the key word there is is passion. So w- whatever your cause is, um, be it a nonprofit organization, your child needs to attend that sports tour wherever he, he needs to go, or very much for medical causes. So, so on Backer Buddy, we really have seen a drastic, drastic increase in the amount of people who are crowdfunding for their medical needs. Um, and some people don't even realize that it is an option for them in terms of sourcing much needed funding during a very difficult time. But essentially, the, the concept of crowdfunding is being open enough to put your story out there on a very public platform and then generating small amounts of support from your social network and people that you have um, uh, you know, networked with over the years, small contributions adding up then to make a massive big difference for whatever that cause is that you're raising funds for. Absolutely. And with the obviously the advent of social media, it's just made it so much easier for somebody who doesn't have the funds or in a position to to be able to raise those funds by themselves, be able to put it out to those networks, especially if they're big networks, to be able to say, help or spread the love, spread the help. Uh, my daughter, my mom, my cousin, my whatever needs this medical procedure and we need to spread the word. So, I mean, medical procedures, there's vast and, and, and many uh, opportunities uh, in that space to crowdfund. There is there a vetting process? Uh, how can the donors trust that their money is actually used for the intended purposes? Um, Ryan, we've got a we've got a, a very strict vetting process at Back Buddy, and and look, we, we've positioned ourselves as an organisation that really, you know, the the donors are the lifeblood of not only the organization, but of the causes. Um, so we need to make sure that that they trust that their money is going to exactly where they intended their money to go. So we've got, specifically within the medical space, you know, we have sick children or um, sometimes we have cases where people have cancer and they don't have income protection cover. So they don't have, they, they can't work, they need to raise money to to just sustain themselves, or sometimes people don't have gap cover. Um, and, you know, the medical aid only pays a portion, but they don't pay the rest. So what we do at Backer Buddy is we, we encourage these campaign creators to allow Backer Buddy to administer the funds or pay the institutions yes. directly. This is not compulsory. We don't make it compulsory, but we really encourage them to, to allow us to do that because what that does then is that just gives that extra trust factor to the donor you know we clearly articulated there in the campaign copy you know we'll say backer buddy is administering the funds we will pay the hospital directly for the child's treatments um you know and you can you can feel secured as the donor that we will do that and we then do that and and in circumstances that arise where potentially it can't be done for whatever the reason is maybe the beneficiary passes away uh, maybe the family would like access to the money we always communicate with the donors pop them an email say this is the circumstances that have arisen would you like a refund or are you happy for us to repurpose the funds so um sure. yes the vetting is very very important part for us not for trusting yeah. you and your campaign but uh you know, just for the, for the safety 
safety of the donors. And the transparency. I mean, you know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, often, often we read stories and we're drawn in, but we don't really know the specific person because we've heard via a channel or via a social network. And we need to know that that back, that back end, and this is what I love about Backer Buddies, that, you know, is that um, there are a lot of, and unfortunately, we both know that there are a lot of chances out there. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of opportunities <laughs> yes. that are looking for ways in which to scam the system, in which to create these, you know, uh, uh, false emergencies that are that require funding, and and there are vul- vulnerable people out there who are dying to get involved and give up their resources. And so, back about you, I, I really, I'm I'm I've, I'm a massive fan personally of the amazing work you do. Um, somebody's listening um, to this podcast, thinking about a specific strategy, maybe that one should follow for their crowdfunding to be successful. Hmm. This is a lovely topic. <laughs> I, I love talking about this because there, there is a yeah. little bit of, um, you know, we have a lot of people that come to us and they assume that maybe crowdfunding is like a, a magic silver bullet, you know, that they're going <laughs> yes. to put up their yes. campaign um, and magically there, there are going to be thousands of, of international donors that will just find them magically and, and give to their campaign. And, it's, it's very important to manage those expectations because fundraising, regardless of how you're fundraising, it's, it's never going to be an easy thing. You, you are asking people for money, okay? So you, are, you have to be committed to the process and you have to be committed to, to following the steps and the guidance that we provide you as a platform. We have been doing this for a very long time now. You know, back about it, we've been around for seven years in in South Africa, and there, there is a certain formula that works for crowdfunding. And if you are committed to uh, to following the process and, and taking our advice on various things, there is a stronger probability that you, you will succeed in your cause. Obviously, we cannot determine exactly how the crowd is going to respond to your particular yeah, cause. Yeah. There are also macroeconomic factors. Is there a flood in Durban? Oh. Is there a fire in Neisner? You know, then the money tends to yeah. go that way. But there are a few key things that that really um, that make your campaign more fundable. And that is, you know, as I mentioned, specifically the, the transparency. So allowing the, yeah. the, the platform to administer the funds for you. Video, video, video. Yeah, video, I love it. Literally three times more money raised if you have a video as opposed to a static image. Nothing professional, just your phone, holding it up, and authenticity, speaking from your heart. Hello, this is my name. My name is Catherine. I live here. This is the circumstance that I'm under at the moment. This is how you can help me. And this is the impact that it's going to have in my life. And that's it. Short little video to the point. We provide you with templates at Backer Buddy. We guide you how to shoot that video. And then also in the content, short, sweet, punchy. This is the story of me. This is the story of, of us together as a community. And this is a story of right now. Please help me right now. This is the, the, the impact that we can make. Um, and then we've also got great little marketing tips. You know, there's, I don't want to get too much into the detail, but we all know about, you know, Facebook algorithms and Instagram algorithms. Yes. If you just do one post on your Facebook page, only a small fraction of your friends are actually going to see that post. So you can't just think that you're going to put one post on Facebook and then be upset that no one has funded your campaign, no one loves you, no one wants to help. People want to help, but you have to give them the opportunity to do so and you have to make it easy for them. So reaching out directly, WhatsApps, Instagram, Facebook, we've got all kinds of great strategies. But the last one I'm going to leave you with, Ryan, is is what we feel works the best. At Backer Buddy, we call it the champion model. And that means... If I had to say to you, you know, my name is Catherine and I'm an amazing person, you'd be like, oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, Thanks, yeah. Catherine. <laughs> Telling, you know, that's, that's nice that you think yeah. you're great. Um, but if someone else, like my brother or a close friend, comes and says to you, you know what, Ryan, I met this Catherine chick and she's amazing. Just the fact that somebody else is talking on your behalf is a huge thing when it comes to crowdfunding. Um, and we see the donors respond really, really positively to that method of asking when people don't ask for themselves, but somebody who knows them and can vouch for them does the asking for them. 
Yo, I also I also love and, and and being somebody who often goes and has a look at various um uh you know crowdfunding that's uh, that, that are on your platforms. I also notice that the more also authentic and real uh they are in those videos and and uh the more information that's shared, you know, more is everything, more is key. When I when I'm looking at somebody's uh trying to raise funds for for, for whatever reason, I I want to know everything I possibly can know about them. I want to know, you know, and I, I know it sounds uh, uh, but also from it sounds a bit weird wanting to know everything but but for that specific cause absolutely I do and also it doesn't have to be edited and super done mm. the in actual fact some of the most some of the most heart wrenching ones are the most honest yeah. raw raw shot with you know with not much really great visuals on it but it, the the story is so authentic mm. and real that for mm. me it's it's you know it it kind of speaks the most Mm, mm. You're hundred percent right. It really, really people are often nervous to do it, and and um, but just knowing that it it really doesn't have to be professional, just from the heart, authenticity. People see it, they feel it, and people want to help. They really do. Um, Catherine, do you th- uh, find that medical causes get the most response um, uh, more than more than say others, or, or perhaps animals, or what's the biggest what's the biggest response response? Is it is it medical causes? Look, at the moment, if we look at the data um, that we've gathered over the last years, the medical definitely has received the majority of the support. Um, and I think what also is, is a beautiful thing about crowdfunding, which people don't always appreciate, but when someone is sick, um, specifically if somebody's terminally ill, um, or maybe if someone's passed away, people want to support that family. And they don't always know how. And it's not about the amount that they're donating. But they leave these beautiful messages on the campaign pages. Beautiful things. I mean, I can spend hours just reading the messages. And when those sick people or people going through a difficult time learn about the campaign, it's not always the money that's raised. Yes, it always does help. We know that. But it's about reading those campaign messages and seeing, um, you know, seeing who loves them, who's the messages of support and encouragement and hope. That's really, really so beautiful. So yes, medical is, is the most support that we see on the platform, but, um, I, I believe that the Lord has put different loves of different things in different people. I mean, my goodness me, my sister-in-law loves a sporting campaign. She, If she sees a young child who's dreaming of becoming a gymnast and whatnot, my sister-in-law always funds those. And I have a good giggle and I say, Christy, what? There's a dying child on the next page. And she says, yes, but Catherine, this one is so hopeful. And I mean, we all have our oh, passions, uh, our passions, Ryan. <laughs> Catherine, what do you say to someone who needs crowdfunding? What message? Um, come to us. Set up your campaign. Set up your campaign and please read and watch the videos that we provide you in terms of the guidance uh, on, on how to do it properly because it really helps to set yourself up from the beginning with your page having the best possible outcome before you start marketing it. Another key little trick of the trade is um, no one ever wants to be the first on the dance floor. You know, you never market your campaign when it's on zero. Always get those few initial donations on the page, two or three fifty rands from your mother and your father, just so that when you, you start sending it out and sharing it with the networks, people are more likely to contribute. So please just come to us, set up your campaign, guys. Read the comms and everything that we share with you. It really does have some great tips on how to set yourself up for the best possible outcome. Catherine, finally, is there feedback or follow-ups? Do donors find out um, if they made an impact? Mm. Well, that's actually one of the most <laughs> exciting things that we're doing at the moment. We're currently busy developing our Backer Buddy 2.0. So our tech is our tech, our, our beloved ship that has been sailing with us for so long is finally ready for retirement. And we, we're going to be launching our new website in the next few months. But um, Brilliant. we we are actively working on something that we call the gecko strategy, generosity, empathy, compassion, kindness, and openness. And that oh, is love that fee- that feedback loop. So communication t- touch points, three months and six months post the campaign, just informing the donors of the impact that they had. And these are also beautiful little touch points, nothing too professional, just, you know, a little video stating the impact 
Um, we really want the donors to to know the impact that they're having. It's not a, a bank account that you're donating to. You don't know whatever happened. We are providing touch points and feedbacks to the donors in terms of the impact. So, yes, please come and donate on our platform and we'll share the impact with you. It is so exciting. I love it. I love the platform. And if you're listening to this right now, go. Go find a cause that you're passionate about. Check out backerbuddy.co.za. Catherine, to you and your entire team um, at BackerBuddy, thank you so much for all the lives, all the the. the uh, the, the various causes, the, the, the passion projects that people have uh, left in your, uh, on your platform for others to get involved in. You've created a community of caring people and uh, just a huge thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you to all the donors, the campaign creators and just the South African community. Absolutely. Thanks for listening, everyone. This is Health Matters with me, Ryan O'Connor. That was Catherine Deploy from Backer Buddy. And was so refreshing to hear the amazing work that they're doing and excited about what the future holds for that company. Uh, this is in partnership with Simple. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, remember, please, to rate, review the show. And we'll be back soon with more episodes. Health Matters in association with Sipla. Check your favorite podcast app for the latest episode.